Hello guys, how's it going today? I'm going to be showing you how to easily install OrthoForxP and make your first tile. This is the easiest way I've found and I, uh, it seems to work very well for me. So, the first thing we're, that we're going to get started by doing is downloading the Windows Binary Package as shown here. So you do, we just want to download that little link under this explain.org post. Uh, this binary package is the easiest way I've found to install it. And we just download it. I'll wait for it to download. And then we can open it up using uh, some zip or WinZip or whatever you want. It's a different type of file. So you need to find an application that works to open that. I love uh, some zip. It works quite well. Let's move that to our desktop for easy access. After we've done that, we want to open up the binary folder and we want to go down and try to find the exe file, which is the executable, and that is the actual application. So now we want to make a shortcut of it, shortcut of the application for easy access. And this is what we will be using to open the application at whenever you want to make your uh, tiles. Okay. So now let's just open up the shortcut, make sure that's working. Uh, so that opens up. Uh, there it goes. That's the application there. And we want to go to the settings uh, folder. No, not not yet, but we want to select our custom scenery folder, which is going to be right there. So we select that, put it in the base folders, and now we want to go to settings. So please, I would recommend pausing the video and copying these settings. I have changed a few values here, and it's important that you do the same. Okay, now that you've done that, uh, we have to set our custom overlay, SRC, uh, so we can find this in our xplain11 folder. So we go to xplain folder, and we go to global scenery, and we just select the global scenery folder. So we put that there in the custom overlay section, and that's about it. Now we want to click apply, and then we want to click exit. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to select Bing as our provider, and zoom level 16 works the best. If you want uh, higher resolution images with way more storage usage, then you can go for 17, but no higher or no lower than 16, I would recommend. Okay, we will be making a tile for Vancouver which includes Vancouver International, CYVR, and we just have to select the, the location, control, right click to select, and we want to select it, we want to click exit, okay? Now that we've done that, we want to click the, the red tile, the colorful tiles in the top of there, select Bing, select zoom level 13, and click preview. Takes about to load, it'll be uh, done soon. Okay, so now we want to scroll and find your airport that you want to depart from because you want a higher zoom level in that area. So here's Vancouver, that's the airport. I use Google uh, for the airports and Bing for everything else. So now we want to use zoom level 17, which is one higher than 16, and select a box around the airport for higher zoom level, which means higher image quality. So I'm just gonna make a small little box. That's water that you see there. I don't know why it's all white, but there's no need to select water. That's not gonna do anything because it's gonna automatically uh, remove the tiles that include the water. So you're not you're not importing that in any way. But uh, now that we've created the box, you may have to play around with the controls. I kind of forget them, but uh, you may basically make a box. I, I edited this a little and moved to zoom level 18 instead of 17 for the inner space, which is even closer to the airport. And then I'll be using zoom level 19 to fill in the airport for optimal zoom level and optimal resolution. Now this is all up to personal pr preference as this extra little area, area here is around one gigabyte in total. So it, it's recommended to have a higher zoom level at airport locations, but it's definitely not necessary. Okay, now we click apply and exit, and we go back to the main world map. You sh uh, go shift and left, left or right click, but I believe it is right click. And then we click all the four check marks there, 
assemble vector, triangle, or draw watermarks, extract overlays, and we click batch build. Use batch build and nothing but batch, batch build. It's the fastest and easiest way to make your mesh. Okay, so it takes a while to load, but there it shows completed, completed in, uh, what is that? I can't really read, 15 minutes or so. So that's not, not too long. Now we want to go to our custom scenery folder. Uh, as you can tell, the ortho, ortho is there. So it gives the coordinates of the ortho. Now we want to open up the ortho 4 xp main folder, which is the one that you downloaded off the Windows binary package. Create a shortcut for the overlays, and we want to move that overlay to the custom scenery folder. Make sure you do this step, or you won't have roads, buildings, or trees, anything above the ortho tile. Okay, open up XPoint once. This will reorganize the any file, which is found in the custom scenery folder. If you've installed airports, you may know about this, but if you haven't, then I'll show you how to organize that in a later video. But all you need to know is uh, to put them in the lowest order uh, possible. So let's, we want to open Xplane to reorganize this folder, but we're not done yet. After we've opened up Xplane and it's loaded, we then want to move on and it'll pop up here in a sec. Okay, now we want to go to the bottom of our custom Serenity folder, open up the any file. You can do this with a text editor. Now we want to, there's the overlay that we have there. Move that all the way to the bottom but make sure that's above the ortho tile, which is found there. The overlay 49124, that's the the tile, the whole tile for Vancouver. So we want that at the bottom, then the overlays, and then everything else that you have on top. Yours will probably look a little less than mine with all the... I have a bunch of light stuff, so it probably won't look as busy as this. It'll be a little more simple. But you basically want to put it below global airports and below um, the aerosoft sceneries that will come default with your x-plane and you want to save that exit it up and now we can officially launch x-plane this is the final launch of x-plane okay we open it up and now your ortho tile should show so i'll do a brief overview of how this tile looks so as you can tell there's the higher zoom level, the Google zoom level, which is the airport. So that gives you the most optimal detail uh, for all the surrounding taxiways and all the grass around the airport. Then everything else is surrounding is zoom level 16. As you can tell, the overlay is working well. I just use my excellent default overlay, but you can use anything that you want. It's all personal uh, preference. There's a lot of settings that you can tweak, but these are the main ones that you should keep an eye out for. And it'll make your scenery look pretty, pretty amazing. So guys, thank you very much for watching this, this brief tutorial. I tried to make it as quick as possible for the simplest, simplest possible way to download your open tiles. There is of course more complicated ways to install these, but this is how I do it personally, and it works wonderfully. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial, or even streaming. Come stop by, join my Discord server, and yeah, that's about it.